those two guys will, will have to help us if we need them. Uh, Carson, who, who was in the same position two weeks ago, and uh, Christian was out. And so uh, uh, Jordan Clark helped some corners he showed in the Louisville game, too. So we're obviously thin with, with some injuries, but um, I'm very confident in the room. Hey, Coach, you guys. Um have one of the best fourth down defenses in the country, and you also go for it a lot of fourth down yourselves. What, why do you feel like your team is so good at that on defense, and does the fact that you guys do that on offense help you prepare for that defense? Yeah, I think that, you know, the game plans um, in terms of what we do on both sides of the ball have uh, been really good on fourth down, the execution, but it, it's a confidence. It's a confidence that I have as a head coach to offensively go for it on fourth down knowing that I believe we'll make it. Um, but also as I thought if we don't have a lot of confidence in our defense to stop the opposing offense. And the same thing, fourth and one, fourth and short mentality on defense, it's those guys, they have a lot of confidence. Make the call, coach goes, let's go. And um, they've really done a good job of executing uh, exactly what we, we've asked them to do. And so uh, you have to be simplistic. We can't have too much uh, for fourth down defense, but we have enough that our guys understand and can play fast doing it. Coach, you've talked about Leonard Moore in the past, but think about when you recruited him and he signed, and then how your opinion has been shaped or reshaped since he got here, what you've seen from him. Yeah, I think when you're recruiting and signing and you grow, uh, develop a relationship with him, you understand he has the talent, he has the length, um, you know, he has the skill set. He's a, super intelligent young man, um, but it still takes time to play fast, right, in the new defense. But he was a guy in fall camp that you said, okay, he's playing fast already. And, uh, you know, we knew that he would help us this year. Um, and at some point, you know, if injuries happen, he would have to start for us, and he'll, he'll be ready. And we have a lot of confidence in him more. By losing two of your best pass rushers, the defense has actually increased the number of uh, pressures it's generated in each of the last two games. From watching the film, what's led to that improvement? Um, I think just the execution of some of the stunts, some of the, the pass rush lanes we're, we're, we're trying to get. Um, it's not always bringing extra people. Um, that might be some of the case, but I think it's just continue to get better at technique and execution. Um, you know, you can't just sit here and come up with some scheme that every time you get pressure on the quarterback. At times, you're going to have to out-execute the guy you're going against. Right? And, and what we're going to try to do is create as many one-on-one -on -one matchups as we can and, and, and believe that our guy's going to out-execute the opponent. And so uh, I think that's just a reflection of what you're seeing is our guys executing the fundamentals uh, 